Hi everyone, welcome back to another series from Traveling Diaries with Micheli. Another day backpacking through Europe and it's raining. So we started the morning with our backpacks as you all saw and it was rainy and we went we headed off to the palace of Versailles. I hope I'm saying that right. And as you can tell, the trains are so different everywhere around Europe and we are just shocked at how different, well not necessarily shocked, but we were just like, wow, the trains are different like every other place we go to. So that was an interesting fact that we saw. So once we got to Versailles, Versa I'm gonna Google how to pronounce this right. Well, I guess it's just pronounced Versailles, but let's go with Versailles. Anyways, so when we got to Versailles, there was a check-in, like a security check-in, and we were, you know, with our big backpacks being like, <laughs> we're here, and it's drizzling. Con la estrella mochila. We're like obviously can you open your backpack so we opened it and our backpacks were like really really packed and the security guard was like looking at it like oh my god this is really packed and like as soon as we opened it obviously you can see our clothes so they're like okay you're good to go so i was just glad that they didn't make us take our stuff out because that would have been taken forever to like put our stuff back in and we had prepared the night before like stuffed it all in really good like tetris once we enter into the museum, like the palace is turned now into a museum, so they also checked their backpacks, but this time they had the scanners, so we didn't have to open those up, but they told us they had storage rooms, so we took it there and left our backpacks there, yeah. luckily, because they are they were so heavy. We were walking through the palace, we realized like how big it is and how much time it actually requires, no wonder the passport ticket was for two days, but... We ended up doing everything in half a day. Well, probably not everything, but most of the main places. Se fue la lluvia. Wow, pero mira cómo se mantiene todo de arriba dorado, ¿no? So once we realized how big it was, we started to hurry and started to walk in faster even though like we were taking our time at first because we were listening to the audio guy and we love listening to the audio guy as you can probably tell. Um, every time I talk about my videos, I always encourage to do that. So we started hurrying because we wanted to get to the petite house. I think that's what they call it, but it's where Marie Antoinette used to live. It was like past the gardens and the garden is huge. And that's basically where she went off to have some time for herself. We wanted to get there because we wanted to make our ticket purchase worth it or else like we would have gotten like a cheaper ticket. I think they have two different options, but yeah, that's why we started hurrying.
My favorite room from the palace, and you're probably gonna see it on this video, is the it's called the mirror room, and it basically has like it gives you like Beauty and the Beast vibes. It is so pretty, and that's basically where they held like a lot of their banquets and like dances. So we ended up walking across the entire garden and it took us about 30 to 40 minutes and we weren't being smart so we ended up taking our backpacks with us so that was making our backs like really hurt like it didn't hurt so much but it was starting to hurt because our backpacks were really heavy This is part of the garden What about our backpack? We were walking and walking and trying to get there and we could have just left it where it was in the storage room at the start because we were gonna come back that way either way. So we went to the petite room 30 to 40 minutes there and 30 to 40 minutes back and that was so tiring. <laughs> Estamos en el templo del amor. So after seeing the palace, we ended up leaving to the Louvre Museum because we didn't enter the day before. Um, we just went downstairs and looked at the stores, but we didn't actually enter the museum. So once we got there, we were like tired already. So the main thing that we wanted to see was uh, the Mona Lisa. So that's what we searched for first. We're here at the Louvre Museum. 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 Headed to find the Mona Lisa. Pues tenemos que tomar miles de fotos, miles de esta cosa es bien famosa. And then we just walked around and had some fun, like rested a little, kept walking. And that's how our day two went. The last place before we leave. This was probably the longest day, or it felt like the longest day from out of our trip because we ended up walking about over 12 miles um the whole day like from start to finish and we were so tired so that's all that we did for paris day two and i hope you guys like this video um if not that's fine too don't forget to like share and subscribe and click the little notification bell so you don't miss any other videos see you all in the next video bye Kabam.